Okay, so I'm going to show you how we can add using partitioning. So let's put an equation on my board. 23 plus 41. There's my equation. I'm going to partition both of these numbers. Now remember, 23 is made up of 20 and 3. 41 is made up of 40 and 1. So I can put the plus signs in there. Now the way we add using partitioning is we're going to look at the tens, 20 and 40. If I connect those, what is 20 plus 40? We know that that is 60. Now the ones, 3 and 1, let's connect those. 3 plus 1 equals 4. 60 plus 4, what does that equal? It equals 64. So that is our answer. 64. Let's do another one. Let's look at 55 plus 20, let me think, 3. What does that equal? Our first step is to partition our numbers. So we know 55 is 50 plus 5. 23 is 20 plus 3. Our next step, connect 50 and 20. What is 50 plus 20? It's 70. Let's connect the units, 5 and 3. What's 5 plus 3? It equals 8. 70 plus 8 equals 78 and that is our answer but let's do one more that's a little bit more tricky okay let's do 46 plus 30 5. Again, let's partition our numbers. 40 plus 6. 40 and 6 is 46. 30 plus 5. Let's connect our tens. 40 plus 30 is 70. Let's connect our units. 6 plus 5, 6 plus 5 equals 11. We have to now add these. Can we do that? Some of you might be able to do it in your mind. 70 plus 11 does equal 81. But we can partition again. This is a bit tricky because it's not going to fit. So 70 plus 0, 10 or an 11, which is 10 plus one unit. If I connect, which is not gonna fit, but that's okay. 70 plus 10 equals eight, and zero plus one equals one. Did I get the right answer? Sure did, equals 81. Now you try, see if you can give it a go.